Welcome to our tutorial on the geometrical set command. Let's start by inserting a geometrical set. Insert geometrical set. Let's name it set-01. Father, we only have one part and we will choose it. Right here, part 1. Click OK. We can also use the Insert toolbar to do the same thing. View, Toolbars, Insert, and Geometrical Set. Let's create another geometrical set. We'll call it Set-02. Click OK. And let's insert one more geometrical set. This will be Subset-01. It'll be located under Set-01. Geometrical sets help organize features in your specification tree. This is extremely handy when the tree gets very big and complex. You basically can put any elements you wish in a geometrical set, and you don't have to structure these elements in any logical way. The order of the elements doesn't follow any rules. Let's create some features and play with them in different geometrical sets. Exit. You see Sketch 1 was placed under Subset 01 because Subset 01 has an underline and is defined in a work object. Let's right click and select Define in Work Object under Set 1. Let's create some lines now. Let's right click and create a point. OK. OK. You see that line 1 is inside set 01. Now, let's right click on set 02 and define in work object. Plane. Sketch. Exit. And let's create a couple points. OK. Coordinates. We'll enter a value of 40 millimeters on the Y axis. OK. We can also move geometrical sets. Right click, select Subset 01 object, and select Change Geometrical Set. The same function is available if we select Edit. Sub element and change geometrical set. Under destination, I'm going to select set 02. Now subset 01 is under set 02. This also works for individual features. Let's take a look at this as well. We right click, select the line.1 object, and change geometrical set. Under destination, I'll select set 02. Click OK. You can also automatically sort the contents of a geometrical set. Right click, select Set 02 object, and Auto Sort. But the geometry itself is not affected by this action. You can also manually reorder features in a geometrical set. Right click, select the object, and Reorder Children. Select the element you want to reorder, and click on the arrows up or down to reposition it. To delete a geometrical set, right-click and select Delete. But if you want to keep the contents of the geometrical set, right-click, highlight the object, and select Remove Geometrical Set. This is only possible if the geometrical set is inside another geometrical set. I'm not going to complete this action right now. I'll just click outside to exit. Another way to manage the contents of a geometrical set is to create a group. Right click, select the object, and select Create Group. I'm going to select Sketch 2 and Line 1. Click OK. Now only Sketch 2 and Line 1 are visible. Right click, select the object, and select Expand Group to see everything inside the geometrical set. 
We're also able to edit groups. Right-click on the group, select the object, and select Edit Group. We can remove the group, for example, or reselect the elements inside the group, and so on. A geometrical set can automatically be created when you create a new part. To set up this option, go to Tools, Options, Part Infrastructure, Part Document, and check Create a Geometrical Set. Let's cancel out of this for now. Now, for example, if I create an extrude, I'll use this line. Direction Y. Click OK. Now let's go to the Part Design Workbench. We'll activate the Thicken Surface command. Katia gives me a warning. The current in work object isn't in a body. The new solid feature is created after the last feature of the part body. Click OK. Select Object 2 Offset. Click OK. Now we see the solid has been created right here. What I should have done before activating the Thicken tool was to define the part body in a work object. I can also insert more part bodies. Now you see that body.2 is defined in a work object. Let me select this sketch and activate the pad command. Click OK. The solid appears right here. And again, if I move back to the wireframe and surface design workbench, I need to define again one of my geometrical sets as an in-work object. For long-time CATIA users, you may remember that in previous versions of CATIA, geometrical sets were called open bodies. And this concludes our tutorial on geometrical sets.